Hi. In this video, we will try to avoid writing date to the new added record by drag and drop operation which is equivalent to the copy paste operation. But, you will see later that we cannot show the date for the records easily. We need extra table control and another push button to refresh and bring the records from the query. We start to make another query. In this query, we will bring the data available in the previous query, which is used for filtering the records or the data in the database. But, we will not include the date field. By not having the date field, we don't write on the field either, when we make drag and drop operation for copying the record. Change the table control data source to the new query. The date is not included, we hide this column. We don't allow addition or changes in the date field. Now, we will try to copy a record and see the date. It should get its data automatically. I mean the current date. As you see, the new record get the current date automatically. I change the old data, just to show you and make it obvious that the date will be the current date for the new record when we make drag and drop.
We need extra table control and another push button to refresh and bring the records from the query, if we need, to show the date of the records in the database. I don't know how to avoid that problem and the needs for extra table control and the push button. Please if you have any idea, just tell us. I am avoiding using macros. So, your solution, should avoid that also. To show the date, we make another subform and we give the old query as a source of data for this control table. We don't allow drag and drop from this new table control. This is the end of this series. Thanks.